And I want to talk about the him or him. Okay. Yeah, because three, three weeks ago, where I worked at the retirement home, we got a positive case of, um, what do you call this? The, the COVID-19. So, and the caregiver that got positive on a Monday, I had a contact with her on a Sunday. And her employer that she looked after also got positive on a Monday. So both of them were positive. But on a Sunday, I went up to her room because I changed money. So the money she touched, I had it and I touched it too. So once the, the home was positive, of, because what they do is once there is even just one positive, they test everybody. So on a Thursday, they all... Um, Every, everybody that went there and worked there, they tested them. So I was tested on, on a Thursday. But the, the, the result came on a Monday. But before that, my friend that got positive uh, is also a friend of one of my, uh, my downline. So we have been telling her to try him or him. So once she got positive, she called my friend and said, okay, give me a box of him him, him, because I'm positive. So my friend gave, uh, drove the box of him, him right away to her. And we told her, take six packs right away. Because uh, before we, we've been trying to ask her to try him, him, because she works hard too. And uh, she always gets sick and she's always tired. So we tried to convince her to get him, or him, but she said, no, I don't like the taste and I'm not into uh, supplements. Like she doesn't believe anything like this. But then on that day that she got positive on Monday, she called my friend, okay, give me the him him. So we, my friend gave it to her and we told her take six right away. So she took six for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday until Friday. And so we, we keep communicating with her. So how do you feel? How is it like, what's, do you feel like you cannot breathe? Are your bones aching? Or the things that all the symptoms we hear from the TV and for all the people that got infected. And she said, actually, you know what? I feel like I just have a flu. So I said, oh my God, that's good. So keep taking six for these 14 days. So she kept taking the six and then she said, I keep taking that. And then she's having a steam, like she's steaming herself, you know, and because back home we believe in like, like if you're sick, we steam ourselves, like we boil water with salt and then we just cover ourselves with blanket and steer it so that the steam, we sweat it out. Like we sweat in ourselves out. How you do that? Okay. So she did that too with the hem of him. And uh, since I heard that we have a positive case there too, I isolated myself in the basement on a Tuesday. So I stayed in the basement also on a Tuesday until I get my result on a Sunday. And what, when I was downstairs, good thing I had the vitamin C that got, I got from Carl. So I took like four of this and six packs of him or him. <laughs> I, I don't know. I got scared. I got scared, but it's not the scared that I get it, but it's the fear that, oh my God, if I have it, I cannot go to work. So no income, right? So I'm not scared that if I get it and if I get sick, because I know I can overcome it. Because I know I'm taking him or him. But, but the good part here is that um, I I believe that him or him uh, had a, <clears throat> excuse me, had a big role for my friend to really overcome, like fight the virus. Because you cannot, like what they're saying, like cure, looking for a cure for this COVID-19. There is no cure because it's a virus, right? There is no cure. The only thing we have to do and they should tell us to do is boost your immune system not wearing a mask, not going out and have a distance. As long as you have a healthy uh, immune system, because that's the only thing that can fight 
anything that's bad that's coming in us, not the one that we put on our face. Because, you know, because since I'm working at the, the retirement home, we've been using masks and using that mask, it's really hard. Like using it for six hours or seven hours, and that's a surgical mask. You know how much more for an N95 mask? So I believe it, him or him, I really um, believe on it because I see the result. I see how it works. And I know people say, if I introduce him or him to them, they say, hey, you know what? We can buy food. We can cook like, yeah, we, we can buy and cook those stuff and eat fruits, vegetables, eat vitamin E. But the thing is, for now, you cannot trust anything in the market. They can say it's organic, but you never really know, right? So I tell them, I think buying the stuff is even more expensive than just getting him or him, which is what, 114 And you can have, if you take once a day, that's your supply for two months. And if you go to the market all the time, every week, you know how much you spend if you go to Costco just to buy like some of them is not even useful and you spend $300, $400 just for a week. And how much is that? Almost a thousand a month, right? So, and then I look into just this week when that happened, I mean, when that uh, positive thing, well, by the, by the way, my, the, the, my test was negative. So I was so happy, like, oh my God, thank you. I can go back to work. <laughs> So I looked, um, when you first take him or him, did you really look the ingredient one by one? Because for me, I really looked into it. And you know what? You know this one? <laughs> this? It's a peony. You know the peony, the flower that we have here? It's a peony, this one. The other one. And I looked more into it. I'm like, this is the peony. This is the flower I have outside. And... Uh, I research on it. It says peonies, they do the root. I guess they, they, it's not the flower or the leaves. It's the root that they really use. It says it stops the menstrual cramps and hormonal disorder. And the other one is the angelica, which prevents bone loss and also prevents like, um, um, like helps for the menopause. And the other one is good for muscle joints, stiffness, allergy, and asthma. That's why um, Peter here was testifying that her joints, her muscle pains, like it got better because, because of this. So it's like they put all the good stuff in one pot and that's the hemohem that we are taking. And I also found out that we have 14 milligrams of vitamin C and one milligram of zinc. I was uh, watching a view, uh, video about like, what is it that really help us boost immune system, right? And zinc and vitamin C is, is really, really um, some vitamins or new, uh, supplements that we can take to help us. And we have it in our hemorrhage. And also the vitamin D, which is good because they already have it in the US. 